Hundreds of Yazidi hostages are killed by Islamic State militants, prompting congressmen and presidential candidates to call for change from the Obama administration. One America's Matt Schuck has more from Washington. According to a statement released Friday from the Yazidi Progress Party, more than 300 Yazidi prisoners were executed by the Islamic State near Mosul in Iraq this weekend. This comes after last year when 40,000 people were kidnapped at gunpoint when the terrorist group attacked Yazidi villages last summer. The Yazidis are a Kurdish religious community that are considered infidels by many Muslim groups. They've been a target of the Islamic State's reign of terror over parts of Iraq and Syria. Congressman Ryan Zinke says that the Obama administration's approach is that ISIS is a JV team that isn't expanding its influence and territory. And this is what happens when you don't lead from the front. This is what happens when you dismantle American power overseas. It has direct consequences here uh, at home. And, and ISIS is active. Well, this administration's approach was, is that ISIS is a JV team, that ISIS isn't, isn't expanding its influence and territory, and this administration's in denial. I also sat down with GOP presidential contender Governor Scott Walker. He tells me what he feels should be done about the growing threat of Islamic extremism. So we need to be fully prepared. We shouldn't take any options off the table. I'm not going to lead with military action in terms of boots off on the ground, but we shouldn't take that off the table. And I think we need to be prepared to make a long-term effort to eliminate this virus before it eliminates us. In recent months, the Islamic State had been pushed back by the Iraqi governments from some areas it had captured, although many Yazida villages still remain under the jihadi group's control. Matt Shuck, One America News, Washington.